Hey there, Joystick News aficionados. Today, we're veering off the beaten path while everyone else is diving into the brand new world of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Yes, you heard me right. While the gaming universe is buzzing with excitement over one of the most anticipated releases of the year, I'm going to let you in on why I'm zigging when everyone else is zagging and why my weekend is going to be all about Final Fantasy XIV instead. So buckle up because this isn't just a tale of gaming, it's a journey through choice, nostalgia, and perhaps a bit of sanity preservation. The Siren Call of Erzia over Midgar we're barely into 2024, and the gaming world is on fire with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Trust me, I get it. The hype is real, and it's spectacular. But here's the thing I'm taking a deliberate step back to venture into the familiar, yet always enchanting realms of Aerzia in FF14. You might be thinking, but why? Well, it's simple. Gaming for me has always been about enjoyment, not just keeping up with the latest trend. And right now, Ayrzea is calling me home. After a whirlwind vacation and a backlog that's growing faster than I can handle, including titles like Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, and Persona 3 Reload, not to mention my professional gaming queue, the thought of diving headfirst into another massive title feels overwhelming. So instead of adding another plate to my already precarious balancing act, I'm opting for some quality time hunting Mughal treasure trove tombstones in FF14. Why FF14 you ask? First off, let's talk about the Mughal event. It's not just any event, it's a chance to dive deep into the game, earn unique rewards and enjoy content that's both relaxing and rewarding. FF14 isn't just a game to me. It's a world where I can slow down, enjoy the scenery, and appreciate the smaller details that make the game truly special. From sorting my retainers to engaging in casual PvP and completing dailies, FF14 offers a welcome respite from the rush of trying to stay on top of every new release. I can already picture the quieter Erzia this weekend, with fewer players online as they explore the new adventures that Rebirth has to offer. Sure, I might experience a momentary pang of FOMO, wondering what I'm missing out on, but I know deep down that this is the right choice for me. It's about preserving my mental health, enjoying my gaming experiences, and making the most out of the games I love. Facing the music or the lack thereof. Yes, I'll admit, the thought of missing out on the initial rebirth hype stings a bit. And sure, there might be spoilers waiting for me at every turn given my line of work but that's a risk I'm willing to take. This decision isn't just about avoiding burnout, it's a statement. It's about playing games at my own pace, experiencing them fully, and not just rushing through to stay abreast of the latest gaming trends. I'm under no illusion that this decision will be easy to stick to. The gaming world is unpredictable, and the excitement of a new release can be tempting. However, I'm committed to this path, Maybe, just maybe, I'll look back and be glad for the experiences I chose to prioritize, the worlds I chose to explore more deeply, and the games that waited patiently for their turn. So, while everyone is playing Rebirth this weekend, remember there's a world of games out there, each offering unique experiences and stories. Whether you're joining me in Arzia or venturing into the heart of Midgar, the most important thing is to enjoy the journey, play at your own pace, and remember why we all fell in love with gaming in the first place. Looking ahead. Even as I make this choice, I'm excited for the future. Games like Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children are becoming more relevant than ever, offering rich stories and incredible worlds to explore. And as the gaming landscape continues to evolve, I'm here for it all at my own pace, of course. So, here's to the adventures that await us both in Aerzia and beyond. Whether you're chasing the latest release or savoring the classics, remember, gaming is about joy, exploration, and sometimes taking the road less traveled. See you in game, adventurers. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Joystick News. If you enjoyed this deep dive into my gaming choices, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, happy gaming.